Hey everybody, welcome to Fritz the World. I am Fritz, and I'm playing the demo for Dr. Emerson's Nocturnes. Uh, which is, it's a Lovecraftian game, and we'll see how it works out. Options, let's do that. Okay, okay. Audio. Oh, the other. Okay, should trivia you upon finding them. Cool. That was autoplay. Why don't you tell me? You mess with that too. Leave it for it is. Just checking it out. No worries. Let's see what we got here. I played. I have this one already done. Played out. You want to go check that out? For apparent eons, I bumped against the stony, irregular sides of a narrow, hewn well. My nostrils were assailed by a scarcely definable menace. A creeping odor of damp and staleness, curiously. The horror of the experience deepened with every dragging second. Then, the mental cataclysm came. It was very gradually that I regained my senses after that eldritch flight through Stygian space. I must be lying helpless in some nameless cavern world toward the core of the planet. My bonds were still biting into me with unloosened force. I used all the art of a lifetime to free myself, as I had so often done amidst the glare of lights and the applause of vast crowds. When I was finally free, I peered diligently in every direction, yet met only an ebony blackness. Obviously, I ought not to walk at random, so I paused to note the direction of the cold, fetid, natron-scented air current. Accepting the point of its source as the possible entrance to the abyss, I strove to keep track of this landmark and to walk consistently toward it. Once, my head struck against a hard object. It was the base of a column of unbelievable immensity, whose surface was covered with gigantic chiseled hieroglyphics. other titan columns at incomprehensible distances apart. Suddenly, I began to hear 
faintly and afar off, the morbid and millennial tramping of the marching things. It was hideous that footfalls so dissimilar should move in such perfect rhythm. The tramping drew nearer. Heaven save me from the sound of those feet and paws and hooves and pads and talons. Down limitless reaches of sunless pavement, a spark of light flickered in the malodorous wind. I drew behind the enormous circumference of a cyclopic column that I might escape for a while the horror. I would not look at the marching things. But God! Their crazy torches began to cast shadows on the surface of those stupendous columns. Heaven take it away. Hippopotami should not have human hands and carry torches. Men should not have the heads of crocodiles. Okie dokie, there we go. I mean, that's also why, as I said, this is just a demo. Yep. Oh. I am writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. Play that one. It was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific. The Great Wall was then at its very beginning. Such visions as I had experienced were too much for me to endure again. That's why I kept on looking around a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm going. No, okay, no. There we go. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're into this stuff, you've seen me. I've uh, reviewed a few of these other ones, went through them, played them, the full games and such, like that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're into this H.P. Lovecraft stuff, I mean. It's fucking quality, dude. I don't know how much they're gonna charge for it. I think like this one might have been like three or four bucks for like the DLC. But the original game, as we're mentioning, was free, and it's like 30 minutes. It's an interesting story, lots of trivia stuff. Uh, it's cool beans. Give it a try. Uh, thanks for watching, checking it out. Have a good one and goodbye.